Hey guys and welcome back to another keto recipe. I've been really trying to figure stuff out more than the first time I was on keto. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a thing at the moment until I get down to my goal weight. But anyways, I'm going to show you everything that we need to make the keto sushi. Um, basically, you're going to need a the, the bamboo mat. For this recipe, I'm going to be doing a Philadelphia and a California roll. Um, maybe even just a plain salmon roll, but I mean, I'll, fi I'll, I'll figure out if I want to work that into the video because it, it literally is just like the rice and salmon and that's it and you roll it in the, the seaweed. But uh, let me go ahead and let me turn this off. Okay, so definitely I'm, I'm measuring this stuff in grams and milliliters. So you're gonna need a food scale, which you're gonna, you know, you need anyways when you're doing keto, cause really you gotta measure out a lot of stuff. Excuse my son, he's very loud. <laughs> We're also gonna need some soy sauce when we do the dipping. I was going to get coconut aminos because I thought that would be better, but it actually has more carbs than less sodium soy sauce. So I mean, as that's up to you. This so soy sauce, let me just kind of say here, it's one tablespoon is one carbohydrate and the coconut amino was like one teaspoon or one whatever the measurement one was tablespoon was like seven carbs. So that just depends what works in your macros, but I'm using regular soy sauce. We're also going to need just a plain rice vinegar. Swerve, I prefer swerve Maybe even you could use xylitol if you're not into Swerve. I just don't think Splenda would work for this dressing. Um, it, I don't know, Splenda to me, just when you use too much of it, it's, it's got too much of that chemically cooling aftertaste and that really puts me off. Um, we're also gonna need uh, sushi nori. Um, real crab meat, because I don't know if you knew this, but um, imitation crab meat has a lot of carbs if you actually take a look at the the nutrition label on that so I got real crab meat um, this has one carb this isn't the best quality though if you're able to source I think it's like crown prince um, or lump crab meat that's a higher quality and it is more expensive you're gonna get closer to no carbs at all which is good because I want to eat more of this so I have less carbs so I need to you know figure out the best ingredients so I can have the less carbs um, continuing on sesame seeds now the McCormick does not state the nutrition value but I did look when I bought this at Walmart they had their own organic version you know of sesame seeds and it did have nutrition information on the back of that and that said it had no carbs so I'm gonna go with that. Um, we're also gonna need some cucumbers, cream cheese, some smoked salmon. I, I don't know where I could safely get really good fresh salmon if I wanted it raw, like sashimi style. So I'm just gonna go with smoked and salmon. Last but not least, a fourth teaspoon of salt. So this is pretty much everything we're gonna need. I will give you the measurements in a bit. But first things first, let's go ahead and start off with our dressing. If you didn't know, sushi actually is just not plain white rice. It actually has like a vinegar dressing that you pour over the rice. So I'm trying to get this as close to how they normally make sushi as much as possible. I did have a kit and I will say this too. I had a kit my mother bought me for Christmas and it came with the, the bamboo mat and a DVD and this book. And this is the book where I got the uh, dressing from. Although, of course, in, the, in this book, the dressing has real sugar and a little bit more um, rice vinegar. So with the, with the dressing that we're making, I'm getting, I measured out 80 mLs of the rice vinegar, which is already pre-measured in my little cup here. And then right here, I put 15 grams of swerve and then of course you know the, the tablespoon, the teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon. So I'm gonna dump this all in a little saucepan and I'm just gonna heat it up and stir it just until all the powdered stuff 
melts and it you know it just looks like a liquid and then i'll put it to the side and then we need to go ahead and steam and strain our rice cauliflower so let's go So now on to the rice ricing or the ricing of the cauliflower. So what I did pretty much is I had uh, a whole thing of cauliflower and I took it apart. I'm not, I didn't, I'm not gonna show it because it's like a really easy process. You just cut off the florets, you pulse it in a food processor and this is what you are left with. So I have three cups of, I have three cups of rice cauliflower in here now uh what i'm going to do and this is really easy i also have three tablespoons of water i'm going to pour it in there then next what i'm going to do is i'm going to get everything has to be glass obviously we know not to put metal in a microwave right very good so i'm just going to cover it like that a glass plate on a glass bowl then i'm going to put it in my microwave and i'm going to nuke it for nine minutes so let's go. Getting a little sidetracked here. I just want to show off these pens I got in Arizona. My cauliflower is still in the microwave. Take the wheel and focus. <gasps> Yay! Isn't this pen so cute? Yep, I had it upside down. Sorry about that. So I got this pen. And then how fitting for today's recipe. A little sushi pen, isn't that cute? All right, sorry, let's press on. So I took it out of the microwave. Uh, word of caution, do not grab this with your bare hands right out of the microwave. It is steaming hot. Don't even try and lift the plate off without gloves on. It will burn you, it is so hot. So every time as you're messing with it and you're kind of just like, at, you know, stirring it and holding the bowl or whatever while you stir it, um, just to release the steam, have your gloves on the whole time because it is just like extremely dangerously hot. Um, so this, so at this point, this is like all steamed and it's soft. What I'm gonna do now is I'm, go when, I'm gonna let it cool completely. Um, Maybe till it's still about you know warm, just enough so I can handle it with my bare hands and not hurt myself. I'm gonna get a clean washcloth and over another bowl, and as you'll see right now, I'm going to put the cauliflower in that washcloth over the other bowl and I'm gonna twist it and I'm gonna strain as much liquid out of it as I possibly can. So here we are, um, this is what I'm gonna do. As you see, I have a clean, lint-free washcloth. If you have cheesecloth, that would be even better, but I totally forgot to get the cheesecloth when I, was, when I was at the store yesterday. But this is how I've been doing it, and it you know it works the same. So yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do. Throw all the rice in here. Try and get like don't waste any of it, you know what I mean? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it, like so, and then you're gonna twist it. See, like that? And you just, you just keep twisting it until you get, you know, you try and really, cause, because we're going, what we're gonna do here is what I've been experimenting with is we have this dressing, right? So we're gonna put back moisture and liquid because I tried this the first, first time without straining it. 
thinking that it being kind of soggy would help keep it together and it was just it was just way too it was way too soggy you know what i mean plus um right now which i totally forgot to mention when i was pointing out the, the ingredients we're also going to need almond flour or you could even use coconut flour but for the macros and everything that i'm going to and the nutrition i'm going to give you at the end of the video this is incorporated with the almond flour but you can also use coconut flour um probably even flaxseed it's just something else to add volume because once you strain cauliflower it just it really becomes almost nothing you know what i mean so you got to add that volume back and then plus you know some extra see see how little the extra to um so it, it should kind of like do that when you're ready so let me put that back in my bowl see how much liquid i that i took out so let me kind of show you now how to prep it with the dressing all right so here we are this is i'm i mean maybe this is just being a little extra but in the sushi book that i was following it was showing that when you do the the dressing you have like a big bamboo uh wooden bowl this here and then when you go ahead and throw the dressing on it you're kind of like you're you know it, you're pouring the dressing while it's in this wooden bowl but since i don't have a wooden bowl a large cake pan to spread everything evenly and coat well it, you know i've been doing it like this it'll work just as good So try and take it all off of your washcloth. See, it's not, it's not a lot. But then we're gonna add in one fourth cup almond flour to this. Then you're gonna kind of Mix it, stir it up. And I like it doing it this way too because the first time I did this, I did it in a bowl and I'm just like, every time I do this, like it just kind of explodes out of the bowl. So this, this is nice. Then according to my sushi book, let me just kind of like, get everyone kind of in the center then now we're going to pour the dressing over it but you pour it over the spatula kind of like to evenly coat it so like i said we're, we're reintroducing moisture and, and the liquid back into this mixture here so just try and get everything saturated with your dressing now, if you choose to make more, like if you, like more of the, the cauliflower rice, um, gosh, I would do like, the original recipe calls for 100 milliliters, which is 20 more milliliters of, of than the vinegar that I use. And you could use that on four and a half to maybe five cups of rice cauliflower before you throw in your almond flour, of course. Um, but yeah. So this is kind of what we're left with. Your house will smell like vinegar. Please do apologize to the other people in your household because my son is not, he's not for it right now. So we move this out of the way. So now the prep work. I have a, see now I'm trying to get this perfectly where I'm like not making a huge mess because the first time I did this, my counter was just dripping with liquid. It was awful. So have a clean washcloth on top of like a, a counter space or I have it on top of a, a cutting board. Then lay out your bamboo mat then i'm gonna bust out with all my pre divided measured ingredients 
another ingredient I forgot to mention earlier, avocado. I'll fix that in the edit. So here's all my stuff. Also, um, while we're doing this, I have a little cup to the side of water because it's kind of like, um, uh, I don't know if you've ever like rolled a doobie, but you lick the ends when you're about to finish it to seal it. So that's kind of what we're doing with this sushi wrap. I'm sorry, I have the worst references ever. This is the worst channel ever. So take out your nori strips. We're gonna start off with the Philadelphia roll. I have not done a California roll yet, only because, and I was thinking of that earlier, um, a California roll is basically an inside out roll where the nori is on the inside and the rice is on the outside. And since this is not actual rice that's with sugar that's made it sticky to stick together, we're gonna to experiment and I will show my fail or success on camera. So let's do this. So the nori has a smooth side and it has a texturized side. And you can, you, you can see it, you know, if you like it's kind of like when I talk about interfacing, how you know where the glued side is, you can see the ridges and it's kind of shiny. So that, that ridges and shiny side is up. Let me bust out with the measurements. So what I have here is I have 31 grams. I have this pre-measured, 31 grams of cucumber. I have 28 grams of cream cheese, which is just basically two, ta two tablespoons, which is a normal serving for cream cheese. I have my one cup of rice cauliflower over there on top of my stove, which we already put the dressing and that's ready to be used. And I have 31 grams of smoked salmon. And then this one's just extra because I think, I don't know, I might eat it raw. I don't know yet. This, this is just something else I, I measured out, but 31 grams of smoked salmon. So let's go. Um, let me get my cup. Let me see if I can measure, get back a cup in here. I think I think at the end when we when we do this, it's gonna be like half a cup. So we're just gonna like spread this out. Some people have told me, and I saw a video of this the other day because I couldn't, I had never seen a, a keto sushi recipe. So I kind of just see, went to look up what was going on on the web and I found one, but they mixed the, um, what do you call it? The cream cheese with the rice cauliflower to make it sticky. So I'm hypothesizing if my inside out roll, AKA the California roll, does not work with what I'm doing here, then I will mix rice cauliflower with cream cheese and see if that will give us success with that particular recipe and that might just be the answer to all your inside out rolls on keto but again uh you know just come with me on this journey of a trial and error especially with that one recipe so here i have i have this ready so a philly roll is cucumber Cucumber, cream cheese, and I like how cream cheese is kind of like Play-Doh-y. So I'm gonna roll this like, like Play-Doh. I know it's kind of like weird looking and off-putting to see me kind of playing with this like Play-Doh. But I'm gonna do it like that. And then my, I'm gonna lay out my 31 grams of smoked salmon again I don't know or trust where to get fresh salmon that I could eat in my house. Plus my knives really, really suck. So I wouldn't even be able to cut salmon, to be honest with you. Um, so to start this off, look how I'm doing this. I'm basically gonna like try and keep it together, but I'm kind of sort of rolling it over like if I'm trying to fold it in half, but not really. It takes a few tries to get this and then you just kind of like even it out, you know what I mean? Then I'm going to kind of take this and I'm with my left hand, now I'm gonna roll it more. And then I'm gonna tuck, squeeze, roll it over again, tuck, squeeze. You might get some seepage out on the side, but you can tuck that back in at the end. See this right here? 
Then I'm gonna dip my hands in some water and I'm just gonna seal it. Check it out. See, I have some seepage on this side. So I'm just gonna kind of like try and say, hey buddy, get back in there. I don't have any seepage on this side. I don't know. But here's the roll. I'm going to wait to cut everybody until I'm done, especially with this freaking California roll. Let me see like what's up with that. So I'm just gonna put this on the side until I am ready to cut it. Now, let us try this. You know what, let me, for the California roll, let me get some saran wrap. because I do remember seeing this when I go to sushis, they do use saran wrap and I remember seeing it and it's probably for when they do do inside out rolls because if I put this rice cauliflower on my towel, it's just gonna stick to it and then it's just gonna be a waste. So let's try this out. Let's, let's experiment you guys. So instead of laying my nori down first, I'm going to shove all the rest of my riced cauliflower in my cup. Let me put that aside. Now, or you know what? I should do this the other way. Durr. Duh. Okay, so let me put this down. And I'm, I'm gonna just kinda have this in front of it just so I can, I'm gonna have this in front of it just so I could judge how wide I have to spread this out so that way I don't get that much seepage when I roll this or something. So I'm just using the, the nori as like a guideline on how far out I can um, roll out this rice here, or cauliflower rice. You know it's not real rice, okay. So let's try this. I'm also going to, with the California roll, I'm sorry, now that I have that prepared. Again, same thing, I have uh, about half a cup of the rice cauliflower with the dressing. I'm using one teaspoon of uh, sesame seeds, 31 grams cucumber again, 31, 31 is just like my lucky number, I don't know, 31 grams avocado, 60 grams of crab meat drained. It is like when you open a tuna can and you like drain out the water, it's the same thing. And then I measured out 60 grams of the crab meat and then my one, my one nori sheet, right? Okay. So, you know what, let me spread this out more because I'm realizing this might be a really, really thin, thin one, but let's, let's just see how it goes. So I have my, you know what, let me sprinkle some sesame seeds on the outside before I, I put my nori on top. This is probably gonna be a real short one because I, I, I need more rice cauliflower now that I'm judging it to make it all the way to the end of my mat but that's okay. So let's put our cucumbers down. Again, I have everything pre-measured so that way I can give you a, a close approximation, maybe even this could be accurate of this particular recipe. I have my 31 lucky grams of avocado. Schmied. Um, and then my crab meat. And the, the, the chicken of the sea crab meat I bought, it was like about $7, I believe. It can get way more expensive than that. And I saw one in the fish section of the grocery store, but it was 20 bucks, but it was a huge, much bigger can than this. 
and I, I you know, I'm not gonna be wasteful. I know I'm not gonna use that much, so. Okay, let us pray. So same thing, gonna kind of sort of do this like in a halfway motion. See all the liquid that comes out of that crab meat? Should have drained it better. In fact, let me try and drain it off that towel. That's what I have it there for. That, and then just kind of like, again, with, and I'm holding the cellophane too, as you can see, cause I'm not gonna eat cellophane in my sushi. Um, so I'm just kind of like doing this. Oh, snap, I hope this works. See, and I'm like, I'm guiding the cellophane out as I roll it, because again, we do not want any cellophane left in our sushi roll. No bueno. And in this case, I don't have to lick it because the, the liquid from the, the lump crab is kind of like sealing it for me. Dang, I got a partial. I got a partial one only because um, I didn't have enough fake rice to do it. But like, let me show you this side. Oh man, I, I almost had it. But let's see if this will hold up also during the cutting process. So I'm gonna put that to the side now. Let's move all this out of the way. Okay, so this is something that I was learning the other day. I, in the book, it, use, it says to use a very sharp, you know, regular smooth cutting knife, but this is like a serrated knife, like a steak knife. This is only because my knives suck, you guys. But, tip though, every time you cut this, it has to be with a clean, uh, wiped off blade. So let me show you. In fact, let me do it on an actual cutting board because this is a little too short for me. Okay, so I'm gonna try and cut, come in sideways because that's just my knife and I'm kind of like, I'm trying to get like the serration to pierce the nori because you don't want it, you have to be kind of delicate with it because if you try and use like a, a non-serrated knife, I think, and then I go really hard at the end to make sure that I cut the nori, Check it out. Okay. So this is my Philly roll again. Every time you cut, because I think the moisture when you cut down and if your blade's wet, it just like pulls the nori in and then it causes you to kind of just like shred it. So I'm coming in from the side. As soon as I can hear the crunch of the nori, then I start going down a little more like I'm sawing it, and then when I get to the end, I really put a lot of pressure to make sure that I cut that nori, and when I don't pull it, it doesn't tug on any loose strands. Oh my God, you guys, that looks awesome. I think my cuts are kind of thick though, <laughs> but, but I think that's okay. So again, let me try and make this thinner. I'm just trying to get it started, like in a saw motion, and then I'm going down. When I hit the bottom of the, the cutting board, I give it extra pressure to make sure I, I get the rest of that nori cut cleanly. Wipe. Man, I'm so excited about my California roll. I really hope it worked out. See, there's like a little piece right here that wants to, but I just give it a lot of pressure and it cuts. Wipe. Oh man, this one, this one I think kind of, see this? So now let me try and cut it with a lot of, there. I think I can kind of fix that one. There you go. Wipe. And if you gotta do this again. Now in the book, I do believe it was saying that every time you cut it, you should wet your knife, but again, I am using a shitty, I'm using a crappy knife, you guys. And plus, I think the rice might have something to do with it. I don't know. Maybe, you know, it's weird. Let me turn this. 
this one's gonna give me trouble. So I'm gonna leave this one. This one's ugly, but she's still delicious. Okay, so this is my, my Philly roll, my keto Philly roll. Let me go ahead and put that in the fridge. I'm freaking out. Let me get a bigger cutting board, hold on. Or you know what, I'm on a cutting board. What am I, what am I doing? What, what is this life? I'm, I'm, I wash this right now, it's clean, what am I doing? Oh, moment of truth. Okay, I'm gonna get at least the side that has the, the fake rice exposed. I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle some, some seeds on it. Let me try and roll them on out. You know what, even let me try and sprinkle it on the nori. It'll get stuck. And then I can kind of roll it. Roll it over, roll it over, roll it over. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, let's let's try out this California roll. Dry my knife. Let's let's see what happens. Oh, it's coming off. I can feel it. Dang. It did come off when I was cutting it. I don't know if you could see it. But let's press on. Let me try it. Or not, let me, let's try it a different way now. Let me cut it while it's kind of wet. See, I'm gonna shove this rice, pack it back down on the nori as I go. Okay, that one, that one stayed a little bit better. Hmm, okay. Okay, let's keep cutting this wet. Maybe because the rice is on the outside, it's, it's doing a thing, okay. You're learning with me as we go. Stick it back on there. Okay, okay, you know what? It might be working. But I wouldn't doubt that the other way with the cream cheese mixed with the, the rice would not work either. It probably would work just fine as well. But since California rolls don't have cream cheese, according to the web, <laughs> I wanted to try and do it this way. Let me go down, let me go down, let me go down. Now, when you do do this, like how I did in the beginning, I used fake crab. Um, of course, not knowing that it was higher in carbs. You know, experiment. If you don't like the way the dressing tastes, experiment with less vinegar or more vinegar or more sugar and less vinegar. You know, to your taste buds. Of course, use cheap ingredients. And then when you finally perfect it, like I feel I'm at a good spot here then go out and get your really good smoked salmon your lump crab meat um all that good stuff you know what i mean hold on i'm gonna eat one of these oh my god it's like candy and i'll leave this little guy last that's its own its own thing okay so this was interesting I have to cut the, the exposed nori on the outside with a clean, dry blade every time. But when I did the inside out roll with the, as California roll, it cut better when the knife was already wet. So that's something to play around with. Um, let me go ahead and taste this little baby. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, let's see. I got my little dish of soy sauce here. Uh, let me go ahead and hit up a Philly roll first. Let me dip it. A little dippy dippy. Let me see. Hold on. Mmm. 
Oh man. Woo. That's good. Let me try a California roll. See how that holds up. Let me get one that looks really, really good. Oh no, baby. I don't think I can do California rolls with the... I think the, the keto ones I think are a little bit too delicate. So I think it, I was trying to pick it up with a chopstick and it just looked like it was going to fall apart. But that's that. Let me get it. Oh my God. I love it. I'm having a religious experience right now. I'm sorry. I'm having a moment. That is so good. That one I had was the California roll. That one has the, the crab meat, the real crab meat. Oh my God, this is it. the flavor, the flavorfulness intensity from the fake crab to this. It's so noticeable. Um, it's, it's good to me. I don't know. Uh, it's got the, 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 the rice has that like vinegary kind of taste in it. Just the way um, sushi rice does. Um, let me dip another Philly roll. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my God, it is, I want, I'm trying to be really nice right now because my husband comes home pretty soon and I really want him to try this, but I'm like, I want to eat the whole two rolls that I just made here. I'm going to try and be really good and save him some. But um, I think that's enough of that. Follow my trial and error again. I, To me and my taste palette, I think the vinegar swerve ratio is pretty good, especially when you dip it in the soy sauce. Like it cancels, it, it helps the vinegar taste. But if you're not a huge fan of how vinegary this might taste to you, um, you know, try one roll with very basic ingredients, very cheap. So if you don't like it, it's not a complete waste. Um, again, you could try instead of the almond flour, you could put a fourth cup of coconut flour, maybe even experiment a fourth cup of flaxseed. Anything again to give volume back into when you drain it and you know your cauliflower is really not much of anything anymore. Um, so yeah, experiment with this. Try this recipe out for the dressing first. If you don't like it, increase the swerve, decrease the vinegar from there. Uh, mess with it again keto it's, it's you really got to make a lot of stuff from scratch when you start getting further into it and you miss your favorite foods i think this is so wonderful i'm like ah i think the next step after this probably is like the cones um i mean i just don't know this is you guys this is like so good okay so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video learn something from it I hope you can get the California roll to, to roll and to behave the way I was able to make it behave. Uh, so good luck. Okay, hey, so I did, so I'm in my garage, my kids are being so loud, I can't, I can't film. Um, so I did some adjustments. I will be putting, and this will, this, obviously this part you're seeing is at the end of the video, but I already edited in my corrections. As you know, I didn't have a full cup for the, um, Philly roll, but I, I may do with half a cup. It should have been a full cup, and I adjusted the the macros and, and calories as, if I, as if it had been correct as a cup. And then, of course, two cups for the California roll, because as you saw in the video, it wasn't able to make its full rotation to be a complete inside-out roll. But I did. I corrected it on my paper, and here's the math. Okay, so now these include the rice and the dressing. This is why I measured it to a T because I need to know, you know, to, to tell you guys. So the California roll 
with the dressing and then the, the inside ingredients, total calories per roll, I did measure this out per piece. I did a whole roll because, I don't know, I eat, I eat the whole roll. Anyways, uh, total calories for the California roll is 273 for the whole tube. 29 grams of protein. Remember, California roll is the one with the crab meat. It has 25 carbs, 12 fiber, which leaves us with a net carbs of 13 for the California roll. Now that one is a little high. Um, I'm thinking maybe if you used these, of course, afterthoughts that I, you know, you could mess with on your MyFitnessPal to see if it'll give you better net carbs. But maybe even perhaps instead of almond flour. If we just st stuck to like flaxseed, since flaxseed is, is it's all fiber, that would lower our net carbs significantly, I'm hoping. So that might be a better substitution. Um, also, what else? Um, the Philly roll with the dressing and all the in innards together, for the whole tube, it's 205 calories, 10 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, with le which leaves us, the whole tube is a net carb of 10. That one's not too bad either. Um, so these, you know, depending on your macros, if you're on lazy keto or strict, this might be kind of hard now that I'm, I'm doing the math to be on like a strict keto, but I'm thinking that maybe if you substitute it with the flaxseed, you could incorporate this on a strict keto diet as long as you're following your macros you know, strictly, uh, which brings me to another thing. Doing this as keto sushi, it kind of like makes me wonder what do actual normal rice sushi equal? Because 273 calories for a whole tube and I'm using just cauliflower and almond flour for the rice. Like, dude, 207, like two, that's just a lot. You know, doing this kind of made me think the my whole sushi game, like when I go and I eat probably like, I don't know, 10 pieces or 15 pieces of regular sushi, how much I'm actually consuming. So this is kind of an eye opener. So take this information, do what you will. Um, I will adjust this on screen and edit captions when I'm pouring the, the rice and all that. The dressing stays the same. In fact, my husband tried it when he got home and he was like, well, it's a little it's a little more on the vinegary side, which is probably right because the, the net cauliflower after I strained it, it wasn't as much as it was supposed to be, right? So with the corrections as it should, I had put in three cups originally to have one and a half cups per roll, but you know, that, it wasn't enough obviously for that one California roll. So leave the dressing as is that recipe, but I think once we increase the dry pre-steamed uh, rice cauliflower and we have that at four cups, then everything should even out and that vinegary taste, which it doesn't really bother me, but I'm glad he tasted it because it's not about my taste buds, it should be about someone else testing it out and he gave me that feedback. So leave the dressing as is, but increase your initial servings of the, the, the rice cauliflower before you steam it to four cups and then that should even it out. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching this video with me. Hopefully you can try it out and hopefully the recipe tastes good to you or you could tweak it now that you have the tools and a base recipe to do this for. Um, so yeah, thank you so much guys, bye.